Hey, what's going on guys? Corrosive Crowstar here. So today we're taking a look at the metal robot Bobatos Lupus. Wow, this has been a joyous figure to play with. And unfortunately, Crowsama decided to just quit Gundam reviews. I, I, I just don't know. I don't, I don't know what's going on in his brain right now, but he, he's, he's kind of going through some stuff right now. I'm almost complete! Yeah, it's it's not looking too good. But let's go ahead and thank our sponsor for the day and then move on straight to the review. So thank you to NewTypeAceQ.com. You guys are fantastic and if you want to pick up some Gundam IBO stuff for yourself, then you can go ahead and check out their website. Other than that, let's just jump right into the review. Now this is a part of the Metal Robot Spears line. And you know what that means? It means it's fucking expensive. This shit right here is like $140. But then you got the goddamn scalpers out there. I'm finding, I'm finding every one of you. I'm going to hurt all of you. But they're just selling these things for about like $200 to $300 a pop on eBay. And god damn it, I hate that. So if you can get one of these for a low price, I mean, god bless you. And I'm talking to Crow right now. What we want to try and do on this channel is is do a little giveaway of this particular thing. So not this one, because he's my baby. Yes, he's my little, he's my little baby. So we have an extra one. And maybe in the future, probably around the end of this year, we'll do a little giveaway. But anyways, let's go jump right back into this. The details on the figure are just Beautiful. Honestly, I love them. It's just striking with different panel lines, just different little tiny features and etched in parts. It, it just looks so gorgeous on the outside. And then speaking of the outside, let's just look at this finish. It is kind of like a very matte finish. It feels really good to the skin. I mean, not, not, not saying I, 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 you know, put it on my skin or anything, you know, it's just, you know, I, it just kind of fell, you know, and I had to pick it up. But, you know, I didn't do anything anything lewd or anything with it, you know, that's, that's not what I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I mean, I would, I, I'm, I won't discriminate. I would, but I, I didn't, if that's what you're asking. A anyways, uh, the inside of the components is very nice die cast. Honestly, oh, oh, I feel so cold to the touch in the knees, the elbows, the waist, just so many components on this has die cast. And Unfortunately, that makes it a little bit heavier and eh, it kind of makes it hard to put on the stand. But if you manage to get on the stand in a very nice manner, you're going to be well off with a very beautiful figure with some nice die casts. Now, this figure is not short of articulation, just has so many articulation points in the body. Every single joint is able to move just as much, if not more, than the actual 1 in 144 scale hind grade. And the hind grade is actually pretty damn good, just kind of loose joints. Here, you're not really having that problem. You don't have loose joints. If there's only one thing I could probably mention is that once it's equipped with the sword, uh, the hand joint, the little ball joint right there on the wrist, it doesn't really hold it well if it's at an angle. But if it's like straight up or if you can kind of counterbalance it with something else, you'll be fine. But that's probably the only gripe I have with the articulation. Now for accessories, honestly, you're going to have so much. You're going to have different grabbing hands, open hands. You're going to have fists. You're going to have accessory holding hands. And that's just a lot to come with the figure in my opinion, or at least it's the average. Next for the weapons, wow, you're going to have the little like machine gun cannons on the forearms, you're gonna have like the bazooka style cannons on the forearms, they're gonna have their own articulation, and then when you get into the melee side, you're gonna have this beautiful buster sword, or uh, it's like a mace of some, you know, some type, but then you're gonna have this huge like Excalibur style giant sword. Now that's not actually native to the Barbatos. It's going to be a part of that episode where he fights that big ass little chicken thing and he just borrows that sword like swoop and then yeah go ahead and uses that. So it's kind of weird that that's included with this but hey it is what it is. Now when some of the weapons aren't in use you can go ahead and attach it straight to the back. So it's good storage if you just don't want to use like the little maces or the big sword. You can just strap it to the back and yeah, you're pretty much good.
You are so goddamn pretty. Oh, uh, oh, sorry. I was just, I was so mesmerized by this figure. Well, uh, I don't really have much else to talk about. Honestly, it's a beautiful, beautiful figure. Unfortunately, the scalpers, those fucking bastards, are, uh, are just spiking the price. So if you can, I'm going to try and talk to New Type HQ. Crow has all the connections, but since he's kind of done with this shit, I'm, I'm going to take the rein. And uh, I'm going to talk to them, see if they can get as many of these as possible and sell them to Yao. But other than that, guys, uh, thank you all for watching. Oh, you want to know if this is worth it. You want to know if this is, if this is worth copying, watching, or dropping. What do you think? It's a, it's a goddamn cop it. Look, I would even pay probably around like 200 to 220 for this. Anything higher, go ahead and watch it. But I, I would honestly say $200 and below, oh, that that's an instant cop. It's just so goddamn beautiful. Uh, oh, God, it makes me, makes me just... Uh, oh, so... I'm gonna have to end this soon because I, you know, I'm getting moist. But uh, anyways, just go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and just tune in for more videos. I know Crow's doing some other shit over there, so no telling what he's trying to do. But if you want to see more of me, let me know in the comment section below, and I, you know, maybe I'll respond. I don't know. We'll see. But let me know what you guys think of the video, what you think of this figure. Do you have it? Do you want it? Do you not like it? If you don't, I, I swear to God, I'm going I'm to blast you in the comments because you will like this. You must like it. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next review. Bye-bye.